This is Dabu Subban. We have separatists in Ukraine declaring the creation of a new state called Malorossia, or Little Russia. We have some saying that this will never happen, it will never take off, get up off the ground. Of course, a lot of these saying this are the higher-ups inside the puppet Ukraine government. You have to remember that the elected government in Ukraine was ran out of the country. That would be just like your whole government here, your, your, your Rand Pauls and everyone else, getting ran out of D.C. in one night. And in your mainstream media not talking about it. It's exactly what happened to Ukraine. It wasn't Russia that did it. If that was the case, then Russia would be in full control there. But they're not. If that was the case, Russia wouldn't have po small pockets like the ones you see here trying to create little Russias. So if it wasn't Russia, who was it? How come you're so confused about this? Because your mainstream media never told you a damn word about what happened here. The Obama-backed, Mossad-backed West, as it always is, went in here and overthrew an elected government. Is what happened. And you're talking to someone that's been co they covered this throughout the height of the craziness, day in and day out. And we witnessed this western back coup come in and start shooting at not only the protesters, but the police that were fighting one another. When they realized this, they realized they had been had. It was huge, a huge moment, when the police and the people they were battling against in the streets realized that someone was abusing them and running them against each other. They woke up to it, and they came together. Still wasn't enough to stop the droves of mercenaries that were coming into Ukraine from the West. I mean, droves. Didn't have to send in armies, just black water type mercenaries, and that's exactly what they did. They stole all the gold, they ran the elected president out of the country, and they put in place a puppet named Poroshenko. They also brought in Monsanto, to set up shop in the breadbasket of the region to destroy it. This is why Russia is burning everything at the border. They also vow that they're going to take back Crimea from Russia. And I think when that day comes, you're going to see big war. They're not going to wrestle that base away from Russia. They'll have to flatten it before they go in there to do it. And in response, I think Kiev will, will get leveled. At this point, there's smaller factions fighting back. But anyone that's been following this for some time, you know what's happened here. And you have basically the overthrow of a whole country that happened. And most of the people in this country have no clue. They turn a cheek to it. Out of sight, out of mind is how the mainstream sees it. But you've got to realize there's ongoing battles all over the place. They've moved into Africa now. What do you think's happening in Venezuela? You don't think that these alphabet gangs don't have a hand in the chaos down there? You better think again. There's only one entity that spans this globe on Zionist Jesuit command with their Khazarian roots. And they control your Mossad, your MI6, MI5, whatever you want to call them, your CIA. That's right. They answer to the same individuals. It's time you see that. Because if you don't, then you don't see the bigger picture. That's who's pulling the strings. The world is a stage, my friends. It's time you see it and learn to love one another and know your enemy.